The Chang'e 6 mission by China has successfully brought back rock and soil samples from the far side of the moon, marking a significant milestone in space exploration. Here are the key updates on the mission. The Chang'e 6 spacecraft, launched on May 3, 2024, successfully landed in the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest known impact craters in the solar system, on June 2, 2024. The mission involved a lander, an ascender, an orbiter, and a returner module. The lander spent approximately 49 hours collecting around 2 kilograms, 4.4 pounds, of lunar material. The samples were collected from both the surface and up to 2 meters, 6.5 feet, underground using a robotic arm and drill. The collection took place in the Apollo Crater, which is part of the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest impact basins in the solar system. This area is scientifically significant due to its unique geological characteristics. After collection, the samples were sealed in a special container and loaded onto the ascender. The ascender then launched from the lunar surface and successfully docked with the orbiter in lunar orbit to transfer the samples for their return to Earth. On June 6, the ascender, carrying the lunar samples, docked with the orbiter returner module in lunar orbit. This operation required precise maneuvers to ensure safe docking and transfer of the samples. The combined orbiter returner will remain in lunar orbit for about two weeks before initiating its journey back to Earth. The return capsule is expected to land in Inner Mongolia, China, on June 25, 2024. The samples collected by Chang'e 6 are expected to shed light on the Moon's early history and geological evolution. Unlike previous samples from the near side, these samples come from the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the Moon's oldest and largest craters. Analyzing these samples could reveal details about the Moon's formation and the differences in volcanic activity between the near and far sides. One key area of interest is understanding the asymmetry in volcanic activity between the lunar near side and far side. The near side features vast dark plains of basaltic lava known as maria, which are largely absent on the far side. The far side samples may contain material from ancient volcanic activities and could help scientists understand why such differences exist. The far side samples might include materials ejected from the moon's mantle, providing insights into the moon's internal structure and composition. This information is crucial for understanding the broader processes that shape the moon and can also offer clues about the early solar system. The mission also carries scientific payloads, such as the negative ions at the lunar surface, NILS instrument developed by the Swedish Institute of Space Physics. This instrument has detected negative ions produced through interactions with the solar wind, contributing to our understanding of space weathering processes on the moon. China's Chang'e 6 mission has achieved a significant milestone by successfully landing on the far side of the moon, this mission, launched on May 3, 2024, from the Wenchang Space Launch Site, is designed to return samples from the Moon's far side for the first time. It builds on the success of previous missions such as Chang'e 4, which in 2019 became the first spacecraft to land on the Moon's far side. The Chang'e 6 mission comprises multiple components, a lunar orbiter, a lander, an ascender, and an Earth re-entry module. The lander is tasked with collecting 2 kilograms of lunar soil and rock, including samples from up to 2 meters underground, from the Apollo crater in the South Pole Aitken Basin. These samples are expected to offer valuable insights into the Moon's geological history and evolution. Once collected, the samples will be transported back to Earth, with the entire mission anticipated to take 53 days. Unlike the United States, which has not yet landed on the far side of the moon due to technical and strategic challenges, China has addressed these issues through its Chang'e missions. The far side of the moon is not visible from Earth, making direct communication with landers or astronauts impossible without the use of relay satellites. Additionally, the terrain on the far side is more rugged and cratered, complicating landing and navigation. China mitigated these challenges by deploying relay satellites such as Kuekiao, to maintain communication with its lunar missions. This mission highlights China's ambitious space goals, including the establishment of a permanent lunar base by the 2030s and the objective of sending humans to the moon by 2030. Future missions, Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, scheduled for 2026 and 2028 respectively, will further explore the moon's polar regions and test new technologies for resource utilization. These endeavors are part of China's broader strategy to become a leading space power by 2049. The Chang'e 6 mission also carries geopolitical significance, 
challenging the current Western-dominated space exploration paradigm and advancing China's vision for international cooperation in space. The International Lunar Research Station Cooperation Organization, ILSCO, led by China and including partners like Russia, aims to establish new standards for lunar exploration and resource utilization. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. Chang-6 is an entirely robotic mission featuring advanced automation and artificial intelligence AI, technologies. The mission includes multiple components, a lunar orbiter, a lander, an ascender, and a returner module. The lander collected approximately 2 kilograms of lunar soil and rock from the Apollo crater in the South Pole Aitken Basin, including samples from up to 2 meters underground. The samples were then transferred to the ascender, which docked with the orbiter in lunar orbit to return them to Earth. The Chang'e 6 mission employed sophisticated robotic arms and drills to collect lunar samples. The mission also used AI to navigate and operate autonomously on the lunar surface, ensuring precision in sample collection and handling complex docking maneuvers in space. This technology allowed the mission to operate without human intervention, showcasing China's advancements in space robotics. While the United States has conducted numerous lunar missions, including the Apollo manned missions and recent Artemis program initiatives, China's Chang'e 6 stands out for its focus on the far side of the moon and its fully autonomous operation. U.S. missions have traditionally focused on the near side of the moon due to its easier communication logistics. The far side poses significant challenges due to the lack of direct line-of-sight communication with Earth, which China overcame by deploying the Kechao relay satellite to facilitate continuous contact with the lander. China's lunar missions have significant geopolitical implications. By achieving these technical feats, China is positioning itself as a major space power, challenging the traditional dominance of the United States and its allies in space exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission is part of a broader strategy to establish a permanent lunar base by the 2030s, with upcoming missions like Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 focusing on lunar resource utilization and in-situ technology testing. China is also fostering international collaboration through its space program. The Chang'e 6 mission included experiments from France's CNES and the European Space Agency, highlighting China's willingness to work with international partners and furthering its goal of creating a cooperative framework for lunar exploration. China's space program has ambitious plans for the future, including the Chang'e 7 mission in 2026 to explore the moon's south pole and the Chang'e 8 mission in 2028 to test in situ resource utilization techniques. These missions are part of China's broader goal to establish a human outpost on the moon by 2030. In conclusion, the Chang'e 6 mission not only marks a technological triumph for China, but also signifies a strategic move to establish leadership in space exploration and international cooperation. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel which is now on the screen.